so my name is Uzma Khan. I work with WWF Pakistan. And we have different global initiatives, and we are very lucky to have one global initiative which focuses on river dolphins because river dolphins are very special. Or you know that in Pakistan there is a species which is called Indus River Dolphin, which is called Indus Blind Dolphin. So that is the initiative of that initiative. And for Asia, I lead the work of uh, the for the initiative so it includes seven countries or hamai pas four species hain asia mein or all four of them are endangered in fact two of them are critically endangered so i help uh, countries in defining their conservation priorities help them design different projects or pakistan mein in this dolphin pe to mujhe kaam karte hue it's been over two decades so as I'm privileged to have that opportunity. They say as a joke, sab kehte hain bachpan ka shock, but I think in my case, it was actually bachpan ka shock. Because my earliest memories were that they would take the poles, you know, from the small ponds, and, you know, being very close to all these animals. So I, I loved that as, you know, when I was growing up. Or, um, or mere liye to work for WWF was like my dream. Or when I got into WWF, it was magnificent. You know, up, up, something that you have been dreaming of all your life, it was just like that. So, so mere liye wo ek, you can say, was a turning point. Or unfortunately, our system was 20 years ago. वहाँ पे इतनी एनिमल फोकस स्टडीज नहीं होती थी तो व्हेन आई वेंट इन इनटू जोलॉजी की डिग्री आई थॉट दिस इज़ ऑल गोइंग टू बी एनिमल बिहेवियर एंड आई वर्क वेरी क्लोजली विद एनिमल्स बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वो दैट वाज इन ट्रू सो वो सारा माइक्रोबायोलॉजी और बायोकेमिस्ट्री टाइप फील्ड्स नहीं so when I, I actually stepped into WWF, that was when I got the opportunity to work very closely with wild animals. And this was what I had always dreamt of. Um, so for me, it was a break. And I just love being part of it. And it's like, you know, it's like a family. You cannot leave WWF once you become part of it. So um, yes, I'm... I just feel that people think that people think that they are dangerous. And this is the biggest misconception here. So, and um, I think in Pakistan, mein, unfortunately, when you talk about animal, ki baat karte hai, to even now people ask, is this halal? Hai? So, you know, that sort of um, thinking of animals as resources, is something that I completely dislike because log jo hai wo ye bahut ek misconceptions unko hote hain ki ya to wo dangerous ho sakte hain ya aap unko kha sakte hain so you know wo uh, i think it's changing people are becoming more compassionate uh, but ye hai ki ab because i've spent a lot of time working on indus river dolphin abhi bhi just last year we had a case where a dolphin was shot shot with bullets and you know when something like this happened and you go and ask communities they say ki ji humne to kabhi ye dekha hi nahi hai hame to pata hi nahi hai iske to daant is tarah nikle hue hain humme laga ki ye crocodile hai so you know wo jo uh, awareness hai wo abhi bhi kam hai and you know when we sit we talk to people who are who have gone through formal education and come from big cities their perception is certainly different or by and large wo awareness nahi hai jo honi chahiye. So wo, uh, wo reach nahi hai because we, we don't have internet access in a lot of areas, abhi bhi bhoat remote hai, ab unho ne kabhi dekha hi nahi dolphin ko or because the teeth are visible, although it's, it's, these are delicate teeth and they are not dangerous animals at all, but we had cases where dolphins were shot because they had they had no awareness. So, pehli baat, Indus river dolphin jo hai, wo hamari species hai, kyunki uski sari population Pakistan mein hai. So, it's a very special animal. 
एवोल्यूशनरी टर्म्स में अगर हम उसको बहुत साइंटिफिकली भी देखें तो वो एक एक्सट्रीमली यूनिक एनिमल है क्योंकि ये ऐसे ये एक एनिमल था जो कि इवॉल्व हुआ है उस एनिमल से जो कि मरीन एनवायरनमेंट में रहता था समंदर में रहता था ग्रेजुअली वो यू नो इस हमारे बेसन में एंटर हुआ इंडस बेसन में और फिर इवॉल्व हुआ यहाँ पे जो है पानी आपने अगर इंडस का और हमारे दरियाओं का देखा हो उसमें बहुत सिल्ट होती है मडी होता है अब उसमें आप देख ही नहीं सकते तो ओवर यू कैन से अबाउट ओवर 15 मिलियन इयर्स अगो वो एनिमल ग्रेजुअली इवॉल्व हुआ एंड इट लॉस्ट द कैपेसिटी टू सी लेकिन दिस इज़ नॉट अ चैलेंज फॉर द एनिमल बिकॉज साथ साथ उसने इवॉल्व किया अपनी एक्ोलोकेशन को विच मीन्स कि वो सोना साउंड प्रोड्यूस करता है जो बहुत दूर तक जाती हैं एज यू नो साउंड ट्रेवल्स फास्टर इन वाटर सो उससे उसको सब कुछ पता है कि उसके इर्द गिर्द क्या मौजूद है उसके ऑब्जेक्ट्स का साइज क्या है वो दूर हैं करीब हैं यू नो सो इट्स अ वेरी सोफिस्टिकेटेड एक्ोलोकेशन सिस्टम और साथ साथ वो वो एनिमल जो कि ओवर मिलियंस ऑफ ईयर्स इवॉल्व हुआ है वो आज हमने उसको रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर दिया है इन अ वेरी स्मॉल सेक्शन ऑफ इंडस रिवर सो वो अब एक इंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज है एंड दैट्स हाउ वी नो इट एंड लोकली हम उसको भुलन कहते हैं और इसकी कल्चरल सिग्निफिकेंस भी है क्योंकि देर इज अ स्टोरी के एक औरत होती थी जो कि एक एक कोई सेंट था उसके लिए हर रोज इट वुड ब्रिंक मिल्क and she kept doing it and one day she refused like a woman i've had enough i'm not going to do it and that's when that saint cursed her ke ab tum pani mein rao aur push push karti rao which is the sound that it produces when it comes out to breathe so this is the the legend behind it um so ye wo ek story so culturally also it has that significance and evolutionary terms made it's a very significant animal that has evolved over millions of years and now we know it as blind and distorted so ye sirf indus river mein hai aur hamari jo indus dolphin thi wo you know all the tributaries that we have ravi or chenab jhelum इन सब में ट्रिब्यूटरीज में वो पाई जाती थी बट यू नो ग्रेजुअली एज वाटर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलप्ड वी कट आर रिवर्स वी रिड्यूस द फ्लोज वी डाइवर्टेड वाटर फ्रॉम मेन रिवर्स इन टू चैनल्स टू इरीगेट आर क्रॉप सो उसकी वजह से ग्रेजुअली द पॉपुलेशन रेंज आर रिड्यूस्ड इट डिक्लाइंड एंड नाउ वी ओनली हैव इट इन अबाउट थर्टीन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स ऑफ द इंडस रिवर सो रेंज बहुत छोटी हो गई है इट्स द मोस्ट इंडेंजर्ड फ्रेश वाटर सिटेशन इन द वर्ल्ड सो इसकी सिर्फ दो हज़ार एनिमल्स रह गए सो टू थाउजेंड इज अ वेरी वेरी स्मॉल पॉपुलेशन इफ यू लुक एट द पॉपुलेशन स्टार्ट बिकॉज ये प्रायोरिटी स्पीशीज है वी हैव बीन मोनिटरिंग इट ओवर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स वेरी रेगुलरसली वी हैव सीन एन इंक्रीज इन द पॉपुलेशन सो आप अगर देखें इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व वी हैड अबाउट ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एनिमल्स बट नाउ वी हैव टू थाउजेंड विच इज़ अज कॉन्जर्वेशन सक्सेस लेकिन टू थाउजेंड एनिमल्स यू नो कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ वेरी स्मॉल पॉपुलेशन जो फ्राम साइंटिफिक एंड कॉन्जर्वेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इज अ tiny population restricted to a very small habitat. So you know वो एक Although we celebrate it in its its uh, conservation success, but it has to be taken with a lot of caution. Because its range is very small and numbers are being very small, and which means that we need to work harder. We need to think of more innovative approaches. Case को किस तरह हम इसकी population को और बेहतर कर सके and we could repopulate possibly some of the other tributaries जहाँ पे ये होती थी. देखें जब वेन अ स्पीशीज इज एट रिस्क यू नो वट इट्स टेलिंग अस दैट वी आर एट रिस्क सो वी शुड नॉट लुक एट इट एज इन आइसोलेशन एज अ स्पीशीज विच इज डिक्लाइनिंग इट इज टेलिंग अस दैट 
you are in trouble. You are in serious trouble. Your livelihoods are in trouble. Or if wo animal which is fresh water dependent, is in trouble, it means that the water of our crops is also reduced. اس کی کوالٹی خراب ہو رہی ہے وہ پانی ہم ایک بوٹل واٹر پیتے ہیں لیکن وہ پانی ڈائریکٹلی ملینز آف پیپل پیتے ہیں سو یو نو وی آر ان ٹربل اس جسٹ انڈیکیٹنگ دس ٹو آس اینڈ وی شوڈ لسن ٹو دس اور وہ دریا جس میں انڈسٹالفن ہوتی تھی اور اب نہیں ہے اگر آپ اس کا کوالٹی انالیسس کریں ود انڈسٹالفن انڈس ریور اینڈ میک اے کمپیرزن یو ول ریئلائز دیٹ دا کوالٹی ہیز ڈیٹیریٹیڈ سو مچ دیٹ اٹس نو لانگر دیٹ ہوم دیٹ یو نو دیٹ واٹر دیٹ وی ووڈ کال دا انڈس ریور کا واٹر سو دیر از اے ٹریمنڈس ڈفرینس اینڈ وی شوڈ لسن ٹو دا اسپیشیز اٹس جسٹ ٹیلنگ اس سم تھنگ اٹ از وائزر آئی تھنک فرام اس ان مینی مینی ویز سو ڈبلیو ڈبلیو ایف ہیز بین انوالوڈ ان لور آٹ آف ریسرچ اینڈ کمیونٹی بیسڈ کانزرویشن اور وی ہیو بین مانیٹرنگ دا پاپولیشن اوور ٹوینٹی ایئرس ایز اے سیڈ Um, apart from this, we have been supporting uh, the government institutions and in wildlife department in the rescues of dolphins. So, jo dolphins irrigation canals may accidentally trap ho jati hai, you know, they have been translocated and over 200 dolphins have been translocated so far. Um, we are working very closely with communities because up communities ke bugaira ap kuch nahi kar sakte, you know, you have to involve them. They, they are the major stakeholders. So, unke saath we have a variety of programs. Um, recently, the two recent examples are our citizen science program uh, for dolphins. Just mein humne uh, communities ke saath uh, dolphin dost, bhullan dost program shuru kiya. So, us mein ye hai ke as friends of dolphins ya as saheli of dolphins, دے کلیکٹ انفارمیشن کہ کہیں اگر ان کو بھلن مری بھی ملے کہیں ایسی بھلن ملے جس کو ریسکیو کرنے کی ضرورت ہے کیونکہ وہ کمیونٹیز آر ایوری وے دے آر دیر کنیکٹڈ ٹو دا ہیبٹ ایٹ آل دا ٹائم سو وہ انفارمیشن جو ہمیں لا کے دے سکتے ہیں وی ڈونٹ ہیو دیٹ آؤٹ ریچ سو وی آر ویری مچ ڈپینڈنٹ آن دیم وی آر ورکنگ کلوزلی ود دیم پھر ہم فشنگ کمیونٹیز کے ساتھ کام کریں اینڈ دس از اے ویری انوویٹو اپروچ جس میں فار دا فرسٹ ٹائم آن فریش واٹر ڈالفن وی ہیو یوزڈ پنگرس پنگرس جو ہیں وہ اتنی سی ڈیوائس ہوتی ہے وچ امٹس یو کین سی اینوئنگ ساؤنڈس جو کہ آپ فشنگ نیٹ پہ لگا دیں اگر تو وہ وہاں وہاں قریب نہیں آتی بیکاز ڈالفنس گیٹ انٹینگلڈ ان فشنگ نیٹس and they die because they are mammals, they have to come out to breathe. So, wo usi net mein phas jati hai. So, we are working with fishing communities to use pingers taake wo net mein na phasen or, you know, we could handle a threat. We could manage a threat which is posing a serious, um, you know, repercussion to uh, river dolphins. So, wo hum uh, entanglements ko rok sakte hai. So, isa we are working very closely. Ab we are planning another approach which is are uh, going to help us also in um, uh, meeting our global targets, which is to create a network of uh, kind of like managed areas with communities that we can protect dolphins there. So they will not be formal protected areas, but uh, protected areas that are uh, formed with the help of communities so that we can protect dolphins there and stop illegal fishing practices. Because the reality is that ابھی بھی الیکٹرک کرنٹ لوگ یوز کرتے ہیں فش کو پکڑنے کے لیے اور اس سے ڈالفنس بھی مرتی ہیں سو وی ہیو ہیڈ اے فیو کیسز اس قسم کی ایکٹیویٹیز کو ہم نے روکنا ہے اور وہ ہم صرف کمیونٹیز اور لوگوں کی سپورٹ سے ہی کر سکتے ہیں سو آئی تھنک وی آر لکی دیٹ یو نو دا اپ کمنگ بی بی سی فریش واٹر ایپیسوڈ از کورنگ ان دس river dolphin uh, because what we need right now is a lot of global 
level awareness about the species and still you know although we have been working on endostrolfin for 20 years still the level of awareness you know the support we need to get globally for river dolphins generally speaking is not enough so i think ye ek bahut badi opportunity hai ki at a global scale we can tell people show people what endostrolfin is how special it is and i think this this is a wonderful opportunity for pakistan to showcase one of our priority species or it's not just a species balki isse associated jo serious issues hain um it is able to shed some light on it which is what is happening to fresh water you know that is extremely special and uh, a huge priority for the country also so um indus dolphin jo hai bhulan jo hai uske upar sabse zyada impact water infrastructure development ka hua so it has impacted it in many ways but the most pronounced impact that we see is that it has reduced its range uh, tremendously so ye jo sab hamari indus ki tributaries mein hoti thi ab sirf main indus river ke channel mein reh gayi hai uh, so uski 80 percent there's like 80 percent decline in the range in the habitat of the indus river dolphin apart from this jo little section where it's now found it continues to get stranded in canals kyunki as you know that indus river system and the canal system is one of the most complex uh, irrigation system in the world so sometimes these dolphins swim far into irrigation channels and they can't swim back so you have to manually lift them bring them back in the main river channel which also exposes them to a lot of risks you know canals may fishing hoti hai bahut zyada extensively they are exposed to pollutants because water discharge factories ka canals mein ho raha hota hai so is type ka threat level bahut uska exposure high hota hai in canals so the water infrastructure is impacting dolphins in many many ways even in the main channel dry season you can say is drier now because sara jo water hai wo to canal suck up kar rahi hai to irrigate our dry land kyunki pakistan is naturally a semi arid country arid means desert so you know it's semi arid country or isko irrigate karne ke liye we need a lot of water and it's all coming from a habitat from a home you know in this dolphin home so this is is a big way in which in which it is impacting the habitat or wo phir puri chain hai because iska matlab hai fish ko impact ho raha hai iska matlab hai livelihood ko impact ho raha hai iska matlab logo ko impact ho raha hai so we are all closely knit together we can't look at it in isolation dekhe ek to ye ke we should when we see water just think it's coming from our rivers it's not coming from a tap so please please don't waste water and our whole lifestyle in any way you feel aapke is action se water pollute ho sakta hai you are you know we are wasteful in any way please check yourself that's how it begins so other than that i think please go to the indus river please if where, wherever you are near the river go and see dolphins yourself they are beautiful creatures they are so unique they are so special please see them and you will feel that love and emotion for them um aur uske baad ya yeah, you can support organizations that are helping uh conserving uh dolphins other high priority species so it begins with yourself and that's how we want the change to happen